I have recorded a marathon number of videos today. It's just the first day in a long time I've had available to do this kind of stuff. Let's continue on this epic journey of uh, a process in painting these uh, Chicago Bears. This time we'll talk about the helmets. And now for the first time in these this batch of figures, these actually look like electric football figurines. Uh, two coats of Ritterlick blue there on the helmets. Um, uh, a mind-bending game of tug-of-war between uh, uh, the blue paint and the white paint there at the uh, at the neck seam. And, uh, you know, lots of painting over blue, and then lots of painting over white, and then lots of painting over blue. And I use a toothpick to do the, the, the touch-up on these. Um, with these, uh, with any electric football figurine, as far as I can tell, that's, you know, has a mold seam down the front. It's going to be difficult there at the shoulder pad. Where the shoulder pad meets the helmet, where the seam, the mold seam comes into play, it's going to be very difficult to get a, a correct line. You know, these figures technically don't have necks. Um, now, it's, it's okay with white jerseys because, you know, they would be wearing that neck pad anyway. But uh, it's a little more challenging with a dark colored jersey against a, a, a different color helmet. Now, Bears in a home team uniform or Steelers in a home team uniform, no problem. In fact, this is <laughs> much, much more difficult, much more challenging on uh, a figure with a different colored uh, jersey and helmet. I need to speed this up if I'm going to get through all 24 of these. Uh, looking good. Looks real good. Um, also did a little touch up on the faces. Um, invariably you don't always get the paint right up against the the face when you're doing the helmets. I gotta tell you, you know, I just you know, have filmed a few videos with uh, some of my older figures out on display on the football game here on the field. And uh, this paint job is superior to those on all these figures. Uh, I'm getting better, and that's what counts. I mean, this still isn't a work of art or anything, but uh, each team I paint is a little better than the last. So I'm happy about that. Still got a long way to go with these figures. I got to put on all the details and, and then apply the uh, decals, the jersey numbers only. Everything else is painted. And then finally apply the face masks. No chin straps. Um, you know, in the future, I might explore just painting the chins white on my figures to simulate a chin strap. I don't know. I have found the chin straps to be problematic. They don't stay on. They don't stay adhered. Not even with uh, glue. Not even with Mod Podge. And... Uh, You can see one of the issues you have when you try to fix uh, paint that get the helmet paint that gets on the shoulder pads. You invariably end up putting uh, uh, white paint on the helmet. But you know what? That kind of simulates the neck pad that would be there anyway. So I'm okay with that. You know, I'm not 100% picky about face details because that's all going to be covered up with a uh, face mask if you opt to go that route. Okay. Moving right along. With my uh, bifocal spectacles on, or whatever you want to call them, reading glasses, um, you can see some anomalies. Sometimes due to the defects in the mold itself. Sometimes due to sloppy painting. Um, but, you know, with the naked eye, it doesn't look bad at all, does it? Okay, moving on just about through the backer figures. These were probably the most challenging to paint in this run. That's not always true. I just had some trouble with the helmets. You know, getting a nice clean line between the helmet and the jersey on the backer figures. Took a little longer than expected. Now we'll move on to uh, the sprinter figures. These would typically be safeties or wide receivers or slot receivers. In my setups. 
pretty good. And again, not too concerned about any anomalies there on the face because that's all going to be covered up by a uh, brass face mask uh, painted black for this team. Now, uh, there's a lot of artists out there who can actually paint the uh, the irises and the pupils of these figures and also the uh, sun paint, the sun shadow paint beneath their eyes. More power to you guys. That's phenomenal. You knew that. I can't do that. I wouldn't even dream of trying to do that. It's That's detail that I can't see when I'm playing the game, so... That's, that, I can't obsess over that kind of thing. It's cool. And I suppose that's the reason some of these figures out there cost, you know, up to $450 per team. But, um... It's just more economical for me to paint them myself. I'm gonna make a... an order to tutor soon, get some more... Fab Five figures. I don't think I'm going to get any more of the Mean 13s. I like those figures, but they are a little more challenging to paint. I think I'll, because I've got... Uh, I'll pull out my stickers here if I have time after I look at all these and sh my decals and show you what I mean. Uh, I think I'm going to get 12 bags of figures. That's 44 figures per team, but I've only got decals for 42, so I have six leftover figures I might experiment with some painting techniques on. Okay, yep, that looks okay. You can actually see I didn't get the paint all the way up to the uh, helmet, the flesh tone there. That's okay. That'll be covered up by a face mask. There's no sense in going back and fretting over that. All right. Yeah. Real happy with the results on these. Again, these are... So much better than my Pittsburgh Steelers home team, and somewhat better than my away team. So with each team, I get just a little better. You can see there that I was kind of chicken. I didn't really want to get in there with the toothpick and try to put any more blue on the helmet there where the helmet meets the shoulder pad. Uh, it was easy over here, but uh, I just kind of bust out over here. Or that may be the result of me using toothpick dipped in white paint to clean something up over here. That's that's actually more likely. That's probably what happened. All right. Now let's move on to uh, the runner figures. These are your running backs and your cornerbacks. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right with that. These are kind of challenging to paint over here on the left shoulder because... Of the bulk and also there's some a defect there in the mold itself which you won't even notice once you put the uh, jersey number there on the uh, shoulder well you know for months these are set in my floor as I slowly work on them now they look like a football team now you know just adding the helmet you know you could if you wanted to, you could put these on a base and play with them now. But I still want to add the details. And I suppose you could probably guess that these are Chicago Bears. Even without the uh, helmet logos. Alright. Oh. Pretty good. I can't really get closer. Because number one, my camera, my cell phone won't focus very well. And then number two, it, if I'm not positioned correctly, it goes way out of the light. You know, I am not a very good camera operator, which is unfortunate. I mean, my hand is pretty steady at the moment, but sometimes, as you can see in my videos, my hand shakes uh, pretty bad. Uh, pretty steady right now, though. Like I said, I did all the touch-up on this figure with toothpicks rather than a brush. And uh, When you're doing that, you're, you're, you'll worry that maybe the paint is going to look bad because you're not using brush strokes. You're just pushing globs of paint around with a piece of wood. But once it dries, you, you can't even really tell. You can't really tell that was what you were doing. All right, good deal. 
one more of these sprinter figures. And remember these are the yeah, the sprinters. No, the runners. Remember, these don't fit on Invisibases properly. Uh, at least uh, the modern sized ones. Uh, the old stock that comes on a, a base with no hole in it. Uh, actually, they fit just fine on those, but these modern ones do not. I'm talking about uh, strength bases and speed cleats. Speed cleats and strength cleats. Yeah, good helmet on this one. Alright, let's move on now to the all-purpose figures. I use these for quarterbacks. Oh no, there's another sprinter. Hold that thought. Yep, nothing wrong with that guy. He looks pretty good. Yeah, and there's nothing I can do about that anomaly there on the seam. There's no way to get across that smoothly. Okay, now we move on to the... I use these for quarterbacks and tight ends and also inside linebackers. You could also use these for uh, wide receivers if you really wanted to. They're, they're really fast on a, a speed base. Um... Again, the left shoulder is kind of difficult on these figures, but that's okay. Once you put the jersey number and the face mask on there, that's you're not going to see that. All right, let's look at the time here. I want to talk about decals for just a moment. Okay. Looks good. I had to use two coats of paint on the helmet, just like with the pants, in order to, you know, in order to prevent any splotches of light blue bald spots coming through all right once i have all the details painted on these i'll apply a coat of tudor uh, brush sealer before i apply decals at which point i'll uh, use a little mod podge to adhere those decals we'll talk about that in future videos um, I'm not going to record any more videos on the painting because I did that with uh, some of the Mean 13 figures. It's the same procedure. I'm just going to use a brush to make the pants stripe, clean it up with a toothpick and dipped in blue paint. And uh, I'll probably use a brush to paint the orange stripe and then use my blue Sharpie pen to put the blue details on it. And then I'll use a toothpick to create the uh, Bears logo using the lava orange paint. Just like I did on the Mean 13 figures and the, and the Fab Five linemen I've already uh, showcased. Alright, just about done here. And uh, then I want to talk a little about my decals. Yep, looks good. Well pleased with the results on these. Again, that's you can sort of see where there's a white paint on the neck. But, you know, it just kind of makes him look bulky. Makes him look like he's got big shoulders. I'm okay with it. At least it's a, it's a clean line. That's more important than whether you stay in the line, per se. And that's especially true on the pants. All right. So, uh, you know, this is a milestone in this project. Now, these aren't unfinished figures. These are just uh, uh, figures that need a little more detail on them. Let me show you something. Stand by while I pause for a moment. This is my box of accessories, uh, face masks, chin straps, which I don't use anymore, and uh, uh, transfer decals, water water decals, water slide, I think they call them. Here are my Bears uh, uh, decals. Uh, once I get all these applied to these figures, I'll have 42 left over. Uh, that's the same number of leftovers as my uh, Pittsburgh Steelers home team, which <laughs> you can't tell, but there are decals on these little strips you just can't see them because they're the same damn color as the paper and also on my uh, Pittsburgh Steelers uh, away team so uh, rather than go out and buy more of these and then have all these extra decals I'm, my plan is to just use them all so I'm going to create three additional teams of 42 players each that's going to require buying 12 bags of Fab Five figures with six figures left over um, and then, of course, I'm going to have to buy uh, three more sheets of face masks so um, and probably some more paint. Uh, not too much more. I, I will have a, a, I've got a pretty big stockpile of paint now, plus this right here. 
But the goal here is to use all the decals I have. Um, because, you know, the decal sheets are $15 each. And I hate to have all these unused decals. I only use roughly half of them. You know, I use 57 per team on my first three teams. And, you know, that's 42 left over. I want to, you know, I want to get the, my bang for the buck on those. So I'm going to buy, uh, you know, 12 bags of Fab Five figures and then use the rest of these decals to create color rush teams for the Steelers and Bears, uh, orange jersey Bears and yellow jersey Steelers. And finally, one fantasy team, my Phoenix Firebirds from the uh, uh, Roll for Yardage game using materials on hand plus some more face masks and maybe a little more paint and of course some more figures so that's my plan down the road and i'll be using all these teams in my efhl league i think if i'm finished it's either going to be seven or nine if they're still giving away those three uh broncos and 49ers uh, i won't have th those figures won't have numbers unless i apply some um sticker decals to them which i'll probably do but that's my plan and uh thanks for watching this video i'll talk to you soon have a great day